In the past few days, most of the inquiries I'm getting from my audience is about proof of funds for their visa application. Yes, I understand the fact that most of my audience are from Africa, most especially Nigeria, and with the latest unification of the exchange rate, it has caused exponential increase in the exchange rate, and this has caused panic and concern within so many quarters about what will be the fate of their visa application. As you all know, for you to be able to apply for your study visa or skilled worker visa, if your employer did not satisfy maintenance, you need to show proof of funds. And with the fluctuation of the exchange rates, it's actually causing a concern to so many persons because that might actually affect them. Because some of the reasons for visa denial, it's insufficient funds. If you don't have enough funds, no matter how small the differential is, it can actually affect your visa application. So guys, those are some of the things I'll be talking on this video. Hi guys, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. As you all know, my name is Victor. If you are new to this channel, in this channel, I talk about ways you can migrate to the United Kingdom either through the skilled worker migration route or ways you can study abroad. I talk about lifestyle and ways you can settle in when you arrive in the United Kingdom. If this content is something you like, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give a thumb up to the video so YouTube can recommend to a wider audience. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. Yet of late, so many persons have been calling to inquire about proof of funds. This is something we've talked about previously. But with the exponential increase in exchange rates owing to the fact that there has been some unification, there have been some policy changes in some countries, that has caused the exchange rates to skyrocket from what it used to be to a different amount. Two weeks ago, the exchange rate was about, most of the exchange rate from Naira to Pounds was about 500 something Naira to a pound. But as of today, it has increased up to 800 and something, about 830 something Naira to a pound within the space of two weeks. So this has caused concern to so many persons because you know one of the reasons for visa um, denial is insufficient funds. No matter how small the differential is, that can affect your visa if you don't have up to that amount. So in this video, I will explain how you can guide against visa denial as a result of insufficient funds. Proof of funds is one of the eligibility criteria the Home Office used to assess your visa application before decision can be reached. As you all know, for you to be able to study in United Kingdom, you need to show proof of funds that you'll be able to meet up your school, your balance tuition fee and your upkeep here in United Kingdom. And if you're coming in as a skilled worker, if your employer did not certify maintainers in your certificate of sponsorship, you will need to also show a certain amount that you can use to take care of yourself for the first one month of your employment. And for students, if you are coming to the United Kingdom to study, it depends on the region that you'll be studying. If you are studying within London, there's a certain amount you need to pay, you need to show as a proof of funds for your maintenance. While for those studying outside London, there's a certain amount you need to show for your maintenance. So now, if you are trying to apply for your visa, preparing to apply for your visa, you need to show you have a certain amount for your maintenance and balance of your tuition fee for a minimum of 28 days. So this amount will be paid into an account and it will be there for a minimum of 28 days before you can generate your statement, upload with other documents to apply for your visa. Those are some of the things the Home Office will go through to be able to give decision for your visa. So now with the fluctuation of interest um, rates within some region, this has caused some concern for so many persons. Take for instance, at the time you start your uh, proof of funds, the exchange rate is 580 pounds to a Naira or whatever currency you are using. Two weeks into your proof of funds, the exchange rate has increased to 830, right? You can see the amount you have in your proof of funds as at the time you started, it's enough. But as soon as the exchange rate increased from 450 to 830, you can see that amount can no longer cover for it again. So you can see there will be a differential because of the increase in exchange rate. So, and what the Home Office do is they don't look at the amount or the rate as at when you start your proof of funds. They look at the rate as at when you submitted your application, as at when your application is being assessed. What is the rate as at that time? The Home Office use the rate as at the time your application is being assessed. So if you are making a, a proof of funds for a visa application, I will advise you add a little extra that can cover up for 
the exchange rate differential in the event that there's an increase in the rate from your local currency as at the point you are applying for that visa, it will not affect your visa. With this interest rate increase, you need to up whatever amount you are using to show as proof of funds from the inception. What I would advise those from Nigeria that are planning to come to another kingdom uh, for study, that are trying to build their proof of funds for visa application, make sure the amount you are showing as proof of funds from the inception is one and half the amount so that that can be able to take care of the interest rate differential because as it is now the rate keep going up by the day within the space of two weeks the rate has increased almost 325 times so guys so if the amount you are showing for proof of funds it's supposed to be twelve thousand pounds i will advise you increase it with your local currency to a minimum of 16,000 to 17,000 pounds so that in the event the exchange rate keep going up it will not affect your your proof of funds note if at the time you started your, your proof of funds the rate at which you used to calculate it it's okay and two or three weeks into your proof of funds there's an increased rate right that has caused the amount you've used in starting your pof to drop below the threshold that can result to visa denial take for instance if at the time you started your POF, the rate you use in calculating it, it's 15 million, naira in, 15 million in Naira. And at the time you uploaded your visa application to the home office, the exchange rate differential has increased from the rate you use in calculating it, making that 15 million you've used in starting your POF to drop down to 14 million 500. That alone can cause a visa denial. So guys, you need to get this right at the point of doing your POF application. You need to make sure the amount you are putting for POF, it's one and a half times the exact amount so that that can take care of the differential in exchange rates in the event that the exchange rate skyrocket beyond the amount you use at the point you are starting. So many persons are be getting it wrong thinking the home office will use the rates you use in starting your period that's what they will work with no the home office does not do that they work on the current rates right the rate as at when your application is being assessed so you need to get this right so you not get a visa denier after you've put everything together after you've spent time and resources to bring the process to that point and your visa is being denied as a result of proof of funds because Exchange rate differential, uh, exponential increase on exchange rate is not something you can control as an individual. It's things that happen at different points in time, right? So you need to get it right at the point of making your uh, POF application, right? From the first day you start counting it, make sure you get it right and you make sure you create room for any difference, any change in exchange rate within the period of your proof of funds. So, this is some of the information I thought I should pass out to my audience so that those who are asking are calling to inquire about how to go about this. This is just the only way. This is the solution I can give to you. Make sure you have excess amount on your account so that in the event the rates increase to whatever amount at the point you are doing your visa application, it will not have any difference because it will be very painful after doing your pre funds for up to 22 days and the rates increases beyond the normal amount, making it to shortfall of the exact amount you're supposed to show as proof of funds. That can be frustrating because what you need to do, you need to go back and start all over again, pay a new visa fee and the likes. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. If this content is something you like, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give a thumb up to this video so YouTube can recommend to a wider audience and so many persons can benefit from this content. See you in my next video.